first graders, this is Mrs. Hansen. Have you ever woken up in the morning and thought, gee, I wish I could see pictures of cute, tiny, adorable baby animals? Well, your wish has come true today. I'm going to read to you Itsy Bitsy Cuties by Camilla de la Boyer. This book has the tiniest, cutest baby animals that I have ever seen. Get ready to say, aww, every minute. Also, if you remember to do this, because there are many baby animals in this story, there will be some information about how they protect themselves from predators much bigger than they are. There are also good examples of using adjectives to describe what the animal looks like and how the young survive. This book is very long, so I will only read you just some of the adorable baby animals. Bee Hummingbird. These little cuties are shorter than a finger, which makes them the smallest birds in the world. They are so light that if you held one in your hand, you would hardly feel it was there. Hummingbirds hover by flowers, sucking sugary nectar. Males have pink feathers, but females are greenish in color. Chihuahua. A chihuahua is called a lap dog because it's small enough to fit comfortably on your lap. But these pint-sized pooches don't sit still for long because they are too interested in what's going on around them. These adorable dogs are usually less than 14 inches tall. Dwarf Chameleon. The smallest dwarf chameleons are a dull brown. It's the perfect color for hiding in piles of dead leaves. Other chameleons can turn their skin red to show they are feeling angry. These little lizards live in the jungles of Madagascar, and some of them are no bigger than a fingernail. Dwarf Hamster. All hamsters can sit happily in a hand, nibbling at seeds and twitching their whiskers. But pet dwarf hamsters are especially cute. They are half the size of their wild cousins and love to stuff food into their bulging cheeks. They keep it there until they can find somewhere safe to hide it. Dwarf Rabbit. Imagine holding one of these super furry cuties in your hand. Dwarf rabbits are a special type of pet rabbit that never grows big, so they are perfect for anyone who loves teeny weeny treasures. Some rabbits have long fur, so they need to be brushed or combed at least once a week. Exmoor Pony. An Exmoor Pony is a rare type or breed of horse that comes from England. It's one of the oldest breeds in the world. Exmoors may be small, but they are strong, sturdy, and hard-working ponies with a sweet nature and gentle eyes. Most Exmoors are brown with darker legs and long tails. Falabella. When a Falabella foal is born, it's just 16 inches, measured from the ground to its shoulders. Even when it is full grown, a Falabella will be too small to carry anyone on its back. But that won't keep it from wanting to be around people. These miniature horses are clever, friendly, and very loving. Feather Tail Glider. Baby gliders are the size of a jelly bean when they are born. So they grow inside their mother's pouch where it is safe and warm. A feather tail glider holds onto branches with its curly tail and can glide up to 66 feet between trees. It's the smallest gliding animal in the world. Fennec Fox. A fennec fox stands still and perks up its ears, huge ears, when it hears any sound. It's listening for bugs and other prey which might be moving around in the sand beneath its feet. These golden cuties live in the scorching heat of the Sahara Desert. They are the smallest foxes in the world. Little Penguin. This is the smallest penguin of all. It is also known as the fairy penguin. It is 12 inches tall and it lives around Australia and New England. Penguins spend most of their time swimming and hunting fish, but fluffy chicks cannot swim until they are about 10 weeks old and have grown waterproof feathers. Micro Pig. 
these little piglets are small enough to fit inside a teacup. They are clever animals that love playing, but they are happiest of all when they can root around in the mud outside their piggy, with their piggy friends. Pigs can feel the cold, so micro pigs like to sleep in warm beds of straw on chilly days. Miniature donkey. Little donkeys were once used as working animals on farms, but now they can enjoy the life of much loved pets. They are gentle animals, but very strong. Donkeys like to live together in large fields where they have shelter from strong sun and cold weather. They hate the rain. Miniature horse. Little horses make lovely pets. They come in many shapes and colors, but a miniature horse never grows taller than 34 inches, measured from the ground to their shoulders. They have adorable personalities and love to be around people and other horses. Baby horses are called foals. Mouse deer. If a mouse deer senses danger, it jumps into a river and hides under the water until it feels safe again. If there is no water nearby, it zips through the trees in its forest home instead. Mouse deer are shy, quiet animals. They usually find plants to eat at night to, so they can rest in the daytime. Mouse lemur. These furry cuties are a type of lemur from Madagascar. They use their huge eyes to see in the dark when they scamper through rainforest trees. The smallest lemur is called a pygmy mouse lemur. Its head and body only measure about two inches, although it does have a long curly tail. Pika. A pika is like a mini rabbit with much smaller ears. It's round, fluffy, and sleeps in a cozy underground den called a burrow. Pikas collect sticks and hay to eat over the long cold winter and store it in a burrow. When they are scared, pikas whistle. Pygmy anteater. This little animal is called a silky anteater because its fur is soft and shiny. It spends most of its life in trees and builds a nest of twigs for its baby to sleep in. Pygmy anteaters rest during the day and hunt for insects when it's dark, eating up to 8,000 ants in one night. Pygmy goat. A goat is a curious animal and pygmy goats are not just clever, they're cute too. They have shorter legs than other goats, but they still love to climb and explore. Goats eat plants and will try nibbling on almost anything. They are friendly animals and then they live in groups called herds. Pygmy hedgehog. A hungry hedgehog twitches its whiskers as it explores. It sniffs and snorts, smelling everything, especially juicy worms. Baby pygmy hedgehogs chirp and purr when they are happy. At night, sleepy hedgehogs roll into a ball. Those prickly spines are sharp and help keep them safe. Pygmy marmoset. It's hard to see a pygmy marmoset as it runs around the branches of a rainforest tree. These mini monkeys have brownish green fur with a golden glow which helps them hide perfectly among the leaves. They are the smallest of all monkeys, only measuring about 5 inches long. Pygmy Owl An owl is a bird with a round flat face, large eyes, and sharp claws called talons. Owls can see very well at night, and they swoop silently through the dark sky searching for food. Pygmy owls may be small, but they are brave enough to hunt animals that are bigger than themselves. Pygmy rabbit. Did you know that when a rabbit twitches its whiskery nose, it is sniffing the air? Rabbits use smells to tell them if there is danger nearby. Pygmy rabbits live in burrows where they can keep their babies safe, and during the day they nibble at plants. Pygmy raccoon. Raccoons have nimble hands which they use to hold their food. Pygmy raccoons live in warm, wet, swampy places where the best food to eat is crab. They are hard to see because they prefer to sleep in the day and come out at night to climb trees, swim, and hunt. Pygmy seahorse. This itsy bitsy fish is one of the most amazing animals in the world. Its colors, pattern, and bumpy skin all help it disappear in the stony coral where it lives. After the mother lays her eggs, the father puts them in his pouch and takes care of them until they are big enough to hatch.
blending in, uses camouflage to hide. Quokka. Cute quokkas are friendly animals that are sometimes called the happiest creatures on the planet. They bounce around on long legs and keep their baby, called a joey, in a pouch. A joey is smaller than a fingernail when it is born, and it must stay in the pouch for about six months while it grows. Ringed seal. Leopard seals grow more than 10 feet long, but ringed seals are half that size. They are the smallest of all seals and live around the North Pole where the ocean is covered in ice. Mothers dig caves in the ice where they keep their furry pups safe from polar bears, sand cat. This super sweet sand cat is as cute as a pet kitty, but it lives in a hot desert instead of a warm house. Sand cats are small and dainty with long pointy ears and stripy legs. Most cats have sharp claws, but sand cats have blunt claws they use to dig a shelter in the sand. Shetland Pony. Some of the world's smallest ponies come from the islands of Shetland, off the coast of Scotland. The winters are long, dark, and often snowy. These adorable animals need to be strong with thick, shaggy fur to survive. Shetland ponies are gentle and loving, so they are popular with people. Short-beaked echidna. Echidnas are very strange animals. They have fur and spines, a pointy nose, and an extra long tongue for catching insects. Baby echidnas are called puggles, and they are the size of a grape when they are born. When an echidna is scared, it rolls itself into a ball with its spine sticking out for protection. Southern Poodoo. Baby Poodoos are called fawns. They have white spots on their brown fur, which help them hide in the shadows beneath bushes and trees. Southern Poodoos are so small, they have to stand on their hind legs when they want to reach leaves to eat. Tarsier. At night, a rainforest is a noisy place, with many animals calling and eating. This is when itsy bitsy tarsiers climb through the trees, crunching bugs. They find their food using their huge eyes and grab insects with slender fingers. Tarsiers can spin their heads around to see behind them. 